Let's go to Ethan Posick now, who is the starting center for the Seattle Seahawks. A little Seahawks news for you guys today. Uh, first off, I was wrong. I did not think that Posick was going to be the starting center for the Seattle Seahawks. I am both surprised and impressed. Now, Posick actually played guard last year for the Seattle Seahawks. He is now going to make that transition back to center because earlier in his NFL career, again, he played guard, but at LSU, he was actually the starting center, and he was an All-American center there for Seattle, but he only had eight regular season snaps there. In fact, Seattle technically before today listed him as a guard on their official roster, which is kind of crazy, right? But Posick has earned that starting job per Pete Carroll. He will start week one for Seattle against the Atlanta Falcons. And I think for Seattle, the ideal long-term outcome is that Posick is able to emerge as a reliable starting center. Now, Atlanta, I don't think, has the best pass rush, so it's not going to be the worst matchup to open up your, I guess, starting center career in the NFL. I will make note, though, for Posick, compared to his top competitor, B.J. Finney, it is not a one-to-one -one comparison. I know the snaps are very, very similar, but it's not quite one-to-one. -one. And that's because the centers, where Finney played a lot of this past year, and even b b before that, with the Pittsburgh Steelers, of course, as you can see on your screen, the centers don't often get beat at the same level. It's a, it's a different position. You know, a couple sacks by a center is actually a lot. It's not the same as like, compared to, say, a tackle or a guard. But despite being very different games, the snap numbers were similar. Finney allowed far less pressures and hurries and hits and sacks. And that is concerning, although Seattle had all of training camp. And I do firmly believe that Posick did earn that starting job. But Seahawks fans, let me know in the comments who you think should be starting for Seattle. If you think it's Ethan Posick and you agree with what Pete Carroll has done, type in your EP. If you think it's BJ Finney, I want you to type in your BF. We made it a little bit more PC, I guess, with that one. So get your votes in EP or BF. Now, Finney's contract is structured in such a way that he's not really going to be going anywhere for the Seattle Seahawks. He's still going to be on the roster. He, I think in all likelihood, will now become the top utility guy. He lined up everywhere for the Pittsburgh Steelers, much like, frankly, Ethan Posick did. He's played some guard, a lot of center, a handful of tackle reps as well. So Posick, for the time being, he's going to be your starter. And I am very, very curious to see how all of this plays together for Posick and for the Seattle Seahawks, and more importantly, for Russ Wilson. The offensive line must be better this year, both on the ground and in the air, and hopefully Seattle Posick at center will finally allow Wilson to, you know, let Russ cook a little bit more. Now we do have some jersey sales for you guys. Head over to chatsports.com slash NFL jersey, where jerseys are 25% off, but only for a limited time for really all 32 NFL teams. Seahawks fans, they got some Russ Wilson and a whole bunch of other players. There are even some rookie jerseys currently available, and of course some current players like Alvin Kamara, for example. So head over to chatsports.com slash NFL jersey, and I will put that link in the comments and in the description.